Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Of His Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali, I bid you welcome to the center. Welcome! Welcome. Hello! Good to see you. How lovely to see so many familiar, familiar faces here today. Well, this has been a dream of mine for a great many years. And as all of you know, I am from one of the less privileged sides of the respectful Al Ghazali family. But with a small loan from my father, I soon built up a construction empire that was worthy of the great Al Ghazali legacy. So, I would like to thank my cousins, without whose friendship and influence this achievement might not have been possible. Thank you. I'm proud to yet again immortalize our great family name. But most importantly, this building is for all the people of the world. Which is today the tallest building in the world. So, I'm humbly proud to open the Burj Al Ghazali. Good today, sir. I suppose they could be us dealers. They could Listen. 
I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? says everyone working triple shifts. There's so much going on here. I've had four staff update meetings already. And <laughs> I think I can open that window remotely. I'll scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Sheikh Al Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts. 
attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. one of the doors in this hallway. I can't remember what it was now. It's something about the. What is she at? Calendar function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. See here. Yes, sorry about that, forty seven. Let's try again, shall we? Ah, I think I've got it. We'll need a key card to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. changed my mind. It was an insane idea to stop. Must have done something. 
Can you see anything different in the room? Access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Andy. Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this, 47. Cameras are showing a lot of guards up here. They wouldn't suspect one of their own, though. Building cameras are now disabled. I just want to remind you about the uh, lockdown drill tomorrow. That's right, 900 hours. And the key cards to activate the alarm are still in the safe in the security room. Yeah, same code. Six, nine, two, seven. Just don't tell your mother we're up to shoot her. <laughs> okay. Okay, but remember, you need to activate the alarm on both floors, otherwise not. Someone's all kitted up. The partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. It's a busy day for him. Surely we can give him a few moments. Do you know what he wants to talk about? No, but I've known this man for a long time. He wouldn't call us out What's this? Carl? Did you do that? I certainly didn't. Not. I have no idea what's going on. Gentlemen, what's the meaning of this? You, you are the one responsible for all this. Gray, what do you want? Something that has been a long time due. Revenge. Revenge? How banal. You killed Cobb, Navikov, Caruso, the Washington twins, everyone at Haven. You broke into our bank, and you outed Providence to the world. Whatever perceived slight we've done to you is insignificant to the amount of damage you've caused us. You've caused the world. You're a murderous terrorist. Nothing more. What did we ever do to you anyway? You specifically? Nothing. Providence, everything. Providence made me. And at the flick of a pen, Providence broke me. I'm just returning the favor. 
Providence has ruined the lives of countless people, expecting and facing no consequence for its actions. You take for yourselves and those who support you, and you burn everyone and everything else to the ground from the comfort of the shadows. No more. Your delusion of exposing us achieved nothing beyond moving a few pieces around on a board much more complicated than you can fathom. The world needs you. What more do you want? Me? Nothing. My friend, however, well, let's just say he's a bit of an expert. I'm just here to watch you die. 47, finish it. What the? 47, finish it. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. 47. Thank you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous on the edge of town. On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar al-Ghazali, I bid you welcome to the center. Welcome! Welcome. Hello! Good to see you. How lovely to see so many friendly and familiar faces here today. Now, this has been a dream of mine for a great many years. And as all of you know, I am from one of the less privileged sides of the respectful al Ghazali family. But with a small loan from my father, I soon built up a construction empire that was worthy of the great al Ghazali legacy. So, I would like to thank my cousins, without whose friendship and influence this achievement might not have been possible. Thank you. I'm proud to yet again immortalize our great family name. But most importantly, this building is for all the people of the world, which is today the tallest building in the world. Thank you. 
just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zayna Kazim. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come. Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now, what is his business here? That, if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. and binge eat some celery or whatever he gets like you do. Or do something worse than blowing cancer in his face. Oh my God, what is your... Hey there. There, sir. If you want to pass, you need to comply to a frisk, sir. Hey there. Nothing to worry about. It's simple protocol, sir. Green light. Go ahead, sir. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Yo, man. Make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you.
Mr. Kazim. A pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. Do you think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer-winning freelance journalist. He's good, and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. Welcome back, Mr. Kazim. Do you have the picture? No, I don't. Okay. Come back when you do. I'll be waiting. Sir, this is a restricted area. Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help. Upstairs, that is the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali's private penthouse. Correct. I heard rumors he has some guests of some significance. Now, I understand you probably signed an NDA, but I may be able to make up for it with cold cash. I can't help you. Talk to security or contact HR. What happens upstairs is none of my business. Okay, thanks. Mr. Lund, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. This better be good. I have a reliable source that the Royal Highness Omar Al-Ghazali is keeping a secret upstairs. Hello, you don't talk much, do you?
yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Get out my way. Hello, sir. This area is a restricted area, and I can't let you in. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture. Yes. Here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. If you just follow me, Mr. Kazim. Sir. seen the view yet? Well, it's quite spectacular. You'll still be On a clear day, you get a face. wonderful view of the Arabian desert. It's a sight to behold, the vastness of it. Back in China, this would never be possible, because of all the smog. Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Mr. Kassim, so good to see you. You have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. Huh. Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. Oh, we have Ingram second. right where no, we right want back. him. Please nice make yourself 47, home. you know what to do. It's something to behold. view, wouldn't you say? It's inspiring to think about. <laughs> Val Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. Now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. Has Mr. Ingram left? Then please, let me show you. Mr. Kazem? You need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked.
Hi there, friend. Marcus, you were keeping yourself out of trouble and trying to keep it on profile. So, have you talked to your daughter? That's none of your business. Everything here is my business. You are my guest. Do you know that Carl is wondering why you went down here? Carl is not my keeper. But you better keep your mouth shut. He can't know I contacted her. Don't worry, Marcus. Your secret is safe with me. Carl knows nothing. And I hope you won't forget that. You know, I gave you a very moving uh, during my speech. I'm sorry I missed it. Yes, so am I. Stay safe. And remember who your friends are. I hope your talk with your daughter gives you some closure. And you remember I've done you just one favor. I will. Damn it. Cornelia, I told you to come. No, it's not. Why is she talking to Lucy Phillips?
nice day for it, isn't it? Word that he entered the building, but he hasn't reported for duty yet. Probably still down at the depot, getting his uniform. I just hope he's got his papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work for that Dawood Rangan. You know, the Bollywood producer who died. Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm. safe, huh? Yeah, nice gig. Look, this is gonna make me look really bad. Hey, you! I have a problem. I'm supposed to meet up for duty, but they can't find my uniform. That's not my problem. Come on, I need help. You look my size. Is, if you're off duty, couldn't I just borrow your uniform? It's my first day and I really need this gig. Good for you. Congratulations. No, it's all screwed up. They can't find my uniform. I'm begging you, man to man. Sorry, still on duty. Oh, God. This is not my day. Oh, it's Mumbai all over again. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out there looking. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. It's just so embarrassing. Oh, it's nothing I haven't seen before. But you don't understand. I'm military. We military men are used to punctuality. I, I was supposed to be ready and present my papers half an hour ago. Yes, you men in the army with your papers. Super punctual. I get it. Yes. Are you making fun of me? That's so cruel. Do you, do you know what a man is without his gun? <laughs> man in his boxes. Crying like a baby. Uh, you women will never understand. And I don't think we ever will.
reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. So, how are you finding Dubai? Uh, it's a gold mine for people in our trade. If you threw a rock, you'd hit a rich man in need of a bodyguard. Oh, you're lucky. His Royal Highness pays better than most. Yeah, you'd be surprised how stingy the rich can be. I was expecting you to take... Okay, you must be my new escort. I have very high standards, and trust you will do your duty. You have your credentials on you? Okay, let's see here. Well, you have been around the world. Mumbai, Italy, France, Japan. This is a very impressive CV. I think you'll do. Okay, walk with me. I need to go through some ground rules. I expect you to be by my side 24-7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important, delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost hit. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man with a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and do work for me. Fail, get out of here, and I can see your face again. Let's just hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will tell. Business is done here, but it's far from over. 